What is going on my fellow YouTuber Rinians? My name is Scrunt and today we are back on some MX vs ATV All Out. Now in this quick little video I will be showing you how to tune the 500cc 2-stroke. This will be part 4 of our tuning guys so make sure you drop a like if you do find it useful or enjoyable. And also remember to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more MX vs ATV content. Without further ado guys, let's just jump right into the tune. This is an absolute beast of a bike and it took me hours to really kind of figure out everything and uh, this is what I got. So the tires I have pushed all the way to the right so we can abuse that arcade grip. Suspension I have almost all the way to, a right, uh, to the right, got it a quarter tick from all the way to the right. Um, this bike is just far too heavy and no matter what you did it just always seemed far too heavy so this is the best that I could do. Brakes I have all the way to the left uh, but it is glitched right now. Sprocket I do have in the same place as the suspension so a quarter tick from all the way to the right. That way we can keep that acceleration and I found that the top, uh, top end was actually a bit too much for me so I tuned the engine down to that halfway mark. Um, that kind of alleviated a lot of those front end kind of popping up situations and the clutch I have all the way to the right because I've never found a situation where the clutch really needed to be tuned. Now this bike is just like I said it's an absolute beast so trying to take this on a super cross track or a very tight technical uh, national track is not the smartest thing that you could do. Uh, I would probably keep this thing in the free loan locations or on an open cross track, uh, maybe like a very open national track that isn't technical because this thing, the way that it turns, the weight distribution is all off. Like it used to be the gearing and the weight distribution. They finally fixed the gearing with version 1.06. They didn't fix the uh, weight distribution. So this bike is just horrendous to drive. It takes about three times the effort that you would put in like a 450 and you're not even getting anything really out of it. You're not getting any increased speed or anything like that. Even if you go faster on a straightaway, you're going to come to a corner and then you're just going to stall it because it's a 500 CC two stroke. So this thing I thought I could do uh, and make viable for nationals and supercross. N no way. <laughs> not until gearing gets improved and I can uh, tinker with the suspension even more. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. I really hope that you did enjoy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.